Good morning, and it's time once again for the Martin Morning Report on a fantastic, amazing Thursday, July 25, as I tell you all about five things that happen in KMA land on a Wednesday. We start off at number one with a tougher than a $2 stake performance of the day, the TTA TDS POTD. A lot of people are calling that across the nation. Goes to another walk-off hit. For the Ottoman Wheelers, Michelle Brooks delivers on a two-run double, lifting the Wheelers to a 3-2 walk-off win over their opponent, Eddieville Blakesburg Fremont, for their third straight walk-off. Michelle Brooks, tougher than a $2 stake performance of the day. Onward, the number two we go to K Mainland Conference Schools will play for state softball championships. We mentioned the Wheelers if their 3-2 win over EBF. Alexis Obermeyer also had a hit and an RBI. In that big seventh inning, Riley Miller, another strong, outstanding performance. Seven innings, three hits, two runs, one walk, six Ks. The other team, Martinsdale St. Mary's, is on to a 1A state championship game as they win 2-1 to one over St. Edmund. Sydney Bears was 2-3, for three, a double, a run scored. Campbell German, seven innings, 13 more strikeouts, just two hits and a run allowed in two walks. On to number three we go, Wayne Softball. Also a winner yesterday in consolation play. They win it 8-1 to one over Remsen St. Mary's. Three for four day, two doubles, three RBI for Clara O'Brien. Ava Whitney was three for four, a double, an RBI, two runs scored. Skylar O'Brien had a two for four day, a double, an RBI. Ella Whitney with a two-hit game. And Izzy Moore, seven innings, nine hits, scattered, one run, eight strikeouts. Wayne finishes with a win. Special shout-out, by the way, Southeast Warren. What a fantastic season they have had. They fall yesterday to Sigourney, 6-1 to one in a 1A semifinal. We'll be talking about them eventually. They, of course, will play for a third-place finish tomorrow. Number four, Heelan Baseball is on to the state championship game. In 3A, 6-3 winners over Wallard Catholic. George Sabanos, one for three, a double, two RBI. This guy, George, man, oh, George, I don't know if I'm saying your name, last name correct, but for the third time this year, he will play in a state championship game. He was a part of the football team. He was a part of the soccer team. He's a part of the baseball team and will play for another title. Hunter Wahab, two for three, a double, two RBI. Caleb LaFever, six innings, three hits, three runs, two of those earned, four walks, three strikeouts. He's now seven and one. They'll play North Polk for the championship tomorrow. Number five, the Martin Blog Fall Sports Preview Review is here. Western Iowa Conference Boys Cross Country was on the docket yesterday. Tri-Center and Brennan Bowden, defending champions of the league. Tri-Center scored 49 points last year. Riverside was second with 62. Missouri Valley, 66. IKM Manning, 73. Pretty good race there among the top four. Riverside returns the Hunt Henderson twins, Brody and Dawson behind Bowden, Brody Davis of Loma, Aiden Wrangell of Missouri Valley, the rest of the top five returnees. Also, Tri-Center is the projected winner by, not me, just the numbers, 56 points for them. They scored 49 last year, 56 is the projected number. Missouri Valley, 71, Riverside, 84, IKM Manning, 86, Logan Magnolia, 90. Missouri Valley, though, uh, will have to add to the team to make a run at a projected team score. Anyway... That's it, and that's all. The Martin Morning Report on a Thursday, Five Fast Things. Have a fantastic Friday. We've got a lot of fun for you today, including the Underwood State Baseball Semifinal, 4.30, KMA FM 99.1. KMA FM 99.1. Give it a listen, either there or online, kmaland.com. Regardless, have a great Thursday. Go Eagles!